linebacker, and he's just too good. He's too tough to cover. And next time they try to match him with the defensive back, you bring him in, you run it, you pound it for two. It's tough. Here's the first down for a second down play, and that's pushes him out of bounds. Here's a good angle on it. Oh, that's a cool shot right here. Got the, the jib in the corner of the end zone coming right into your living room. And we talked about the way to block out that club and, and truly let him just go week to week and play Seminole football. Winston pumps it, now shoots it inside, and that's Carlos Williams. Well, and here's an example of the time. No, nobody even close. Good job of swallowing. And he's had a solid start to this season as well. Comes out with a swing pass to an open receiver. Carlos Williams out of the backfield. And so much attention that Burrs is going to carry him a little bit farther than he should because the safety's over top, vacating the flat area. And Another swing pass. Similar the play to the first, Williams is wide open. He has six catches today, does Green. Fake to Cook, and they throw it to Williams, who went in motion out of the back. And unusual to be a senior at FSU and not have scored until then. Another high snap pulled down by Winston. Throws underneath, Williams will get down. Good runner after the catch. Four-man rush, Winston with a lot of time out for Williams. And a solid. And play for one another. Really impassioned in a pregame speech that surprised his teammates. He picks his spots, but they have high-impact speeches when he makes them. Schmidt forcing pressure. The catch made by Williams, who broke free. And a lot in the first half. Look at it. Watch Joe Schmidt. He's going to come around. He gets home. He gets there. You think he's going to bring down the quarterback, right? He does enough to fight to keep it alive. A risky throw, but he tried. Winston accounted for all 75 yards. He did find his rhythm. Winston flushed, chased, fires, complete. Flags are down. Yeah, Matthias Farley in the middle of the screen with Travis Rudolph just tackling him, burying him <laughs> right in front of both officials. That's a lot of coin. That's a lot of cheddar. <laughs> How much did we say it was in the meeting? A lot. $150,000 as Carlos Williams gets across the 30. Jameis looks one way, comes back with the screen to Carlos Williams the other way. He's been coming on strong lately. Had the two big touchdowns last week. Second and nine. Here is Williams out of the backfield with plenty of room ahead of him. And he digs down. Here, what sport you play, the last thing you want to do is be in between. We've seen some pressure from Virginia tonight. Excuse me, that was the inside linebacker, but you see it, he's in between. He's not really rushing, he's not really covering. When a quarterback. Gotta hurry. on the carom by Carlos Williams. He will stand in here against the rush. Dumps it underneath to Williams. Up near midfield. Third and four. They need to get just inside the four-yard line to move the chains. Winston dumps it off. Williams to the two. That'll be how they play as a group on defense. If that's not what they're studying, we've got to rethink this committee if that's not what they're doing. Winston hangs in the pocket, drops it for Williams. He's forced out of bounds at the Boston College. You can hit him up top for the big play. Boy, would that light up the crowd. Here's Winston tossing in Carlos Williams on the first carry of the run. And across midfield goes Williams to the 49th. The defensive end and sophomore from Oklahoma City made the stop. And look at the big man leading the way. Cam Irving, big 75 down there, blocking defense. Mahler Citadel bunch. So that's why we go with Austin Barrett in the new center. And, of course, Carlos Williams. But watch out for Cook and Pender as well. And here goes Carlos Williams. Diving toward the goal line. Trip Carlos 
Williams up. Boy, for a big guy, look at him go. Look at the pad level as he goes through that line and then he gets into open field. And what a pretty runner. 6'1", 225. He's from Polk County, so you know he's tough. Those Let's get in front of Carlos Williams. That's a really the tight end in motion. And Williams scores. That and gives his defense another chance here to come out and play third down, third and short. That's a really in motion. And what's the going to have the ball here is Carlos Williams. First down for Florida State. And everybody with those vice angles on a, another slithery character in Jameis Winston. Second down now for the Seminole. Little counter play. And stepping through Carlos Williams. It'll be first and goal for Florida State. Williams is very comfortable on the edge, and he's very comfortable between the tackles. Uh, absolutely. And how can you not be when you've got all those seniors blocking up front? That earlier. And Carlos Williams got nice off hands as well. Another play of the drive. And they get back in with Carlos Williams. Still digging. State has done a very nice job of moving this football. You know, it's it's interesting too. Here's the power do, and, and it's a shame because if they don't go win a national championship, it's it, it's a failure of a season. Yep. Here's Williams. Had to find the cutback, and they picked up about four. Williams finds the hole. Right hole for the Knolls. Carlos Williams lowers his head. This game is a partial member of the ACC for the Irish. Chance now to drive and take the lead for Florida State. And they're off to a good start. Carlos Williams finally taken to the... And a rumble of 20 yards for Williams, the senior from Davenport, Florida. Being able to break tackles and make people miss. That's what this Florida State offense has been lacking. But right there, you see Carlos Williams running hard and running through tackles. Williams cuts it up the field. To the fullback, Carlos Williams, the tailback. The toss to Williams. Spread him out with four receiver sets. That's why North Carolina State is so afraid of getting beat by the deep ball. They got to play a bend but don't break type defense. Another quality run for Carlos. Five yard line with 13 yards and a first down. A nice job of caving it down inside. By the Seminole offensive line, Carlos. Williams again. Chart. 
Featherston and Pugh combining for a big play. Carlos Williams. The Tenth catch of the day for Green. Good for 11 yards. Back to the run with Carlos Williams. And here you go. Hurry up to get it going. Down to the Florida State about to take the two-score advantage. If they can pop it in, did Williams get in? No. Short. Sean, you're right. I mean, we talked about it. In the Six possessions this half for Jameis Winston and the Seminoles. They've scored four touchdowns. They've turned it over twice. Both of them interceptions by NC State's Jared Fernandez. And now Jameis Winston and the Seminoles will think about milking the clock. Snapped it with nine seconds, but have taken it down. Obviously. And they snap it at two. Give it to Carlos Williams. Down the sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Good job of the big fellas up front. Grinding. Getting to the next level. Cameron Irving getting on the second level. Springing Carlos Williams and getting a nice block downfield. By your fullback, Freddie Stevenson. Nick O'Leary with his hands inside. Does a good job of keeping the hands inside. They'll lay off that holding call. 28 yard run. Fans dejected, many of them heading for the exits now. Unless Florida State makes a tremendous mistake. This ball. Second and seven. Carlos Williams. Delivers a stiff arm and delivers the exclamation point. Let's run the end of game in overtime. The vision, cut back, and this is what he has that a lot of guys don't have as he gets going in fifth gear in a hurry. And I want to give a shot. Seven touchdown passes. Carlos Williams gets the start of tailback. An enormous hole off the left side. Williams across the 30 and out of bounds. He widened an already huge hole. How many yards before contact? Good acceleration. That's about seven and a half yards before first contact. That's and this is a defense for Wake for targeting the first quarter against Louisville back. He's an NFL prospect. It's a veteran unit. The secondary is just terrific. Williams power run off the right there upside. And he, he, he knows his roster. It's awfully stacked. Great leg drive. He would not be denied. And Markel Lee, the middle linebacker, has been playing really well for uh, Wake Forest. His helmet pops off there at the end. Green has come along with a chance to break it. Williams trying to get to the sticks. Second effort. Climbing Rich Rods of Arizona. Huge win for him, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Third and one. Done a marvelous job with that program. This should be enough for the first. And how thick he is through his hips and his legs. Very tough to tackle. Back in the eye, Williams. Carlos Williams is back in as a tailback. That's O'Leary in motion. Williams will get the carry inside the five down to about the three. Change the technique a bit. I'm very happy with the transition they've been able to make on defense. Williams off the right side. Got through a couple of tacklers. Down at all as far as their mentality and what they're trying to do to Jameis. This is the first carry of the night for Carlos Williams. Has his eyes downfield to have that completion. Williams on second and one. Darts for a first down. Williams takes his shot. Cuts it back. Leans for the goal line. from Notre Dame. This is a physical play led by the block by Freddie Stevenson loaded up against Joe Schmidt, Jalen Smith, and how about the effort by Carlos Williams, the senior, to get that ball across and into the end zone. There's Joe Schmidt. True Tranquil, the freshman safety involved in that. And it's under review to see if the ball broke the plane before his knee touched. It'd be tough. Perhaps from this angle. Ball. 
appears to have crossed the plane. Now we'll check the knee. Used, disoriented, trying to get lined up here. It's a two tight end look. Williams. And nothing is more disheartening than when you bring a blitz like this right up the middle and you make it. You get there, but the quarterback, as he's falling back, it's the second time we've seen it on this drive, a high snap. He's got the, the, the toughness to be able to sit in there and wait and wait. And, and as he's falling back, snaps it in there to root off for that first down. Two tight ends still in the game. Williams has it again. Tough running. His helmet's busted. He had to come out. Here comes the beef in the formation on first and goal. Williams left. Follows his blockers. Muscles. You want to follow. It's number 15 right here. Watch the big fella. The big defense alignment gets in here, and he just manhandles a defense in New Jersey in high school. Mario in there again. On second and go, Williams hammers forward and for the Florida State up. Jameis Winston, the quarterback. Carlos Williams gets the carry. 37 straight games. Green has had a catch. Carlos Williams, Williams running tough and getting alleged abuse on a social media post. Despite that post, she's filed an affidavit asking that the case not be pursued as Williams picks up the first down. Now running with Williams. Carlos finds a little seam, gets out to the 30. ECU, many believe, the best team in that conference. So Kansas State leads the way now. On the ground, Carlos Williams spins his way. Pass rusher linebacker for Louisville has left off the field with a hamstring. It appeared he's had hamstring issues over the last few weeks. Tough run inside. Watch Louisville up the middle right here blow this run up. I mean, defensive linemen, you see Brown getting back there, you see DeBose getting back there. What do you want Carlos Williams to run? You know, they're happy. Florida State in reception, the candidate for the Bolitnikoff Award, named after a former Seminole receiver for a Bolitnikoff. Carlos Williams has the edge. Williams down the sideline, he's got explosive speed, and he's pushed out of bounds. Front. He's smart enough to know what's going on with the defense, checks into the right play. O'Leary with a good block on the edge. Right there, you see Wilson. Looked pretty good to me. Uh, hands outside, right yeah, there. Here it is, Jersey. You got to get your hands inside. If you get your hands on the outside of that shoulder pads, the ref's going to call it most of the time. And even Burgess right now, he's playing out of his mind. Second and goal. To the ground. Carlos Williams is stopped just short of the goal line. Situations. You've got a guy that's six foot one, 225 pounds. That is downhill. Mike's contact. That, that was a forced throw by Jameis Winston. That was Holloman's 10th interception. It matches a Louisville season record, but he'd rather forget about that one for the way it ended. Carlos Williams running hard and picking. Louisville defense really. Now Williams headed to the corner and he gets. First run on this drive, Carlos Williams, greeted by rushing the passer, could affect Jameis Will 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 Winston and take him away from those two. They'd have a good shot tonight. Here's Carlos Williams taking the way you see his gate here at the college level, and you don't think of him that way. First and goal now. Here's Williams underway. Jameis Winston interception last time out. Carlos Williams, boy, did he see that cutback state to do this. First and goal. Williams. Touchdown. Stretches out with a Virginia defender underneath him. And the number two team in the country. He's marching here again. And straight up the middle they go with efficiency of this offense from a season ago. Go a little misdirection here. And it works out well. Not the kind of efficiency, maybe not for this evening, does it come back and bite you, but it will in November and December. 
Williams on third and 24 as Anthony. And now you can expect a heavy dose of this. Carlos Williams. In their way. And he was part of that recruiting class that was heralded. Tom Lugendo and Fred Halbert and the boys had a top ten. Carlos Williams now muscling his. As Williams escaped the pursuit, Jameis Winston, who's receiving about 8% of the total available points. A lot of people are asking around there and sitting there at four and two in all of the conversation about a bowl game and some heartbreaking losses. And I think you can even watch this game tonight and see some of the components that are in place. He didn't see any back to him, to him and that camera stand. But Joe, th th there's no doubt to get back to that question, to sit there at four and two and now to be four and six in a bye week in his, with Miami and Virginia Tech and the struggling Virginia Tech. Two and oh, the starting quarterback at Florida State. And in all of those starts, they've hit at least 30 points. Williams behind Freddie Stevenson. Not much, but they do move the chains. They will show a couple of different looks, and they'll try to run under some routes with some quick INTs early in the game. Carlos Williams gets the start as the tailback. He gets the toss and crosses the 30. The coaches, they've done a fine job of getting these guys focused in the second half. Two tight ends and a fullback in. Williams will take it outside. First down and more. Carlos Williams still on his feet inside the 15 to the 14 for Carlos Williams. Now Stevenson gets to the outside and does a wonderful job. The uh, defensive end got hooked. Cavalick for Boston Block. Tymere Brown made the saving tackle, but it's first down. Williams again. Big hole up the middle inside. Winston in total control on this drive. And it's Carlos Williams' touchdown. Team plays. They took 624 off the clock, and it's one of those drives that's in your face. Came out throwing a little bit, like most teams have expected credit. That ball was thrown on the money. You know, I, in some of these plays, you know, he, he takes a little bit of beef, these interceptions, but boy, a lot of this is not his fault early in this game. Carlos Williams. Carl yards a run, and it, it was there. The pass was there, a little late. Murphy couldn't quite make a play, but the way they were running it. Carlos Williams. Reversing his field, looking for a block at the edge. Out of Boston College, if he went back, as we take a look, another look at uh, Williams keeping the uh, play alive. But uh, you've got to think, if you're a coach, you go back and you call a play and look at the team that has built a habit and understands what it means to be in this position. Last second thrills, no surprise to anybody. Williams comes back. around. This is, they're hanging in there a bit for Wake Forest. If this offense and that ball's loose and Wake has it again. Down. Boy, right there at the end. I think it might have been Josh Banks. Right there. Oh, it just pokes it out. You know, you can see that was Josh Banks who came in there, but you hear coaches talk about all the.